When asked whether a series converges or diverges, it usually makes sense to first look at the sequence and see if the sequence converges to zero. If the sequence doesn't converge to zero, we're finished because the series will diverge. And for this problem and for a lot of future problems, it's usually a good idea to take a close look at this sequence and ask the question, how does it behave when n gets really big? To do that, what we can do is we can look at the highest power in the numerator and the highest power in the denominator. So when n gets big, our sequence behaves kind of like n over the square root of n squared. Well, that's just n over n, which is just 1. So we have the expectation right off the bat that this sequence does not converge to 0. Let's demonstrate that a little bit more formally. We can look at the limit as n goes to infinity of our sequence. And one way to calculate this limit would be to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the highest power on n. In order to take this 1 over n in the denominator and simplify this square root in the denominator, we're going to have to rewrite that 1 over n as 1 over the square root of n squared. So there's a little bit of algebraic trickiness for you. At this point, we can look at the numerator, combine the n times the 1 over n, and just get 1. And in the denominator, we can bring this n squared squared, which is underneath a square root, inside this bigger square root, and distributing that n squared looks just like this. Now just one more step of simplification, and we're at a point now where if we take the limit as n goes to infinity, we simply get 1 over the square root of 1, which is just 1. What that tells us is that our sequence a sub n does not converge to 0, it actually converges to 1, so the infinite series, the sum of a sub n, must diverge. That is often called the nth term test. A quick note, if the sequence a sub n does converge to zero, that does not guarantee that our series converges. That's a pretty common mistake. So zooming out on this so that we can see the whole thing, we've determined that the given series diverges by the nth term test because the sequence inside of this series does not converge to zero. Okay, I hope that that makes sense. We have a lot more practice coming with convergent and divergent series, so please check out the next video in this playlist.